Earth's mysterious future is unraveling before us. Glaciers are melting, seas are rising, and change may affect our lives in more ways than we can imagine. Discover the secrets of global change and its impact on our planet in this fascinating video. Today's man finds it simple to envision a scenario of a worldwide disaster. We have learned about dark matter and supernova explosions, and we are accustomed to hearing news of potentially hazardous asteroids passing by the Earth. Few people, however, are aware that the most likely catastrophe that might endanger our world is already taking place, and it is of an entirely different kind. The Earth's average temperature has been steadily increasing over the previous 200 years, and at this moment it has surpassed the historical average. The Earth might experience extremely catastrophic effects, including the eventual melting of all glaciers, if this process is not stopped. To answer the issue of when global warming may occur, let's envision what the planet might look like if all the scientists' forecasts came true. Unfortunately, at this time, such a possibility cannot be dismissed as a purely hypothetical threat. Rather, statistical data demonstrate that it already exists. The Earth's average temperature has risen by more than one degree Celsius during the past 200 years, and man may be mostly responsible for this change. The fact that the primary temperature increase occurred in the 20th and early 21st centuries, the time period that may be referred to as the most potent in terms of greenhouse gas emissions into the Earth's atmosphere, helped the researchers reach this conclusion. Humanity just started aggressively using hydrocarbons for energy in the last two centuries, which finally caused the atmospheric carbon dioxide concentration to rise to a record high that hasn't been seen in the last 800,000 years. The effects might be devastating and begin with natural disasters if the Earth's average temperature increases by another three degrees. Our planet will become noticeably drier in only a few decades, which will have an obvious effect on the economy, agriculture, infrastructure, and weather patterns. Climate change will disrupt coral reef habitats and the residents of the Arctic, as well as ecosystems and animals that cannot adapt to the new conditions. A major portion of the underwater flora and fauna might become extinct, which would disrupt food systems and produce a food crisis. Mass animal and bird death could also occur as a result. Only a small portion of what awaits mankind in such a scenario includes mass migration, homelessness, and degradation of many people's physical and mental health. After all, it won't be about the welfare of any particular person, but rather the continuation of our civilization. Sea levels will rise owing to the melting of Arctic ice, endangering low-lying coastal regions and tiny islands all over the world. The country's cities with low coastal zones may be in danger if the sea level rises by another 30 centimeters by 2050, according to estimates made by specialists, and will result in major dangers to Florida, Bangladesh, several islands, and a portion of the Asian coast from the Arctic Ocean. The Arctic will be most impacted by the rise in temperature since there are many glaciers there that are expected to melt. Cities in the permafrost zone will not be able to hang on to the thawed ground in the more remote core areas, necessitating the adaptation of thousands of structures to the new temperature regimes. The permafrosts contained greenhouse gases, ancient viruses, and substantial amounts of peat deposits will all be released as a result of thawing. The increase in temperature will also have the impact of making dry spells more severe in warmer locations, and the situation will get considerably worse in drought-stricken areas. On Earth, desertification will occur more frequently, hunger will rise, and there will be a water deficit. There will be a major decrease in the amount of biodiversity on the Earth since plants and animals won't have time to adapt to climate change. Because of the warm temperature, disease vectors like malaria plasmodia and exode mites would be able to travel to new locations, rendering people even more susceptible to numerous ailments. But the consequences brought on by melting glaciers will be far more obvious to us, right? They could go largely extinct in as soon as 80 years as a result of global warming. Currently, sea levels are increasing at a pace of roughly 3 millimeters per year, but this rate will accelerate with time and, according on current predictions, the ocean will have risen by nearly one meter by the end of the century. The Atlantic and Greenland shields will eventually vanish, even if they may only persist in part because to these changes. Antarctica would thus permanently lose its recognizably familiar look and would be very impossible to identify. Its western portion will undoubtedly turn into an island, but the eastern portion will continue to be a continent because of the vast mountain ranges and massifs that lie beneath its ice. The Antarctic Peninsula is already displaying signs of tundra, and warming is anticipated to bring to the emergence of new plant life and animal species. The historically chilly continent could become habitable for long periods of time due to climate change, 
but even then, we won't really need it. Antarctica would have to melt within the next millennium at the current rate of warming. The icy continent has yet to be fully investigated, therefore the researchers are aware that this forecast might change over time. Today's experts predict that the world's waters would rise by around 58 meters after all of the Earth's ice melts, which may be considered a true global disaster. The whole coastal zone will be submerged as a result of the substantial shoreline change, with tiny islands and cities below sea level suffering the worst effects. The majority of Asia, China, Japan, Bangladesh, India, the Netherlands, England, Venice, and a portion of Denmark would all utterly vanish. The seafloor will eventually cover the northern South American countries. Astra, Han, Kaliningrad, Vladivostok, Sochi, Arkhangelsk, and St. Petersburg will all be submerged underwater in Russia. Large megacities like Miami, Cairo, London, Istanbul, and many others will vanish off the face of the planet. We might still be able to stop these effects though, although it is no longer feasible to stop the increase in the Earth's average temperature. Humans may still slow it down or delay it as much as possible. For instance, the share of renewable energy in the current energy mix is increasing extremely quickly. Now 11% of the world's power is produced using green technologies. Humanity will eventually need to convert to more environmentally friendly technologies and utilize alternative energy sources. But it's still unclear if we can accomplish this before the Earth's temperature rises over a certain threshold. Unfortunately, the biggest issue right now is that the majority of people do not believe that global warming is significant since its impacts won't be seen by many until a few decades from now. Global warming is a threat for everyone on Earth, despite the fact that people in underdeveloped nations and coastal regions will be the first to realize the calamity. And the state of our nature is something for which we are all equally accountable. Also, we shouldn't lose sight of the fact that these predictions are only projections of what may happen anything might always take a turn for the worst. But in any case, the current generation is as close as it can go to the point where our choices may actually affect the near future, and we have the authority to determine how it should be.